This five-year-old girl tonight is fighting for her life after a devastating crash involving Kansas City Chiefs coach Britt Reed. Remember this story of Britt Reed, son of Andy Reed? These exclusive photos show Reed's totaled pickup truck and the two cars that police say he ran into, including the one Ariel was in. That second row where she was sitting flattened. An officer responding to the crash could smell a moderate odor of alcoholic beverages emanating from Reed's person, and his eyes were bloodshot and red. When asked if he had been drinking, Reed advised he had two to three drinks. The warrant says Reed told police he was on the prescription drug Adderall. After what felt like an eternity, Britt Reed has finally met his punishment. Breaking news here into Sports Center. Former Chiefs assistant Britt Reed, the son of head coach Andy Reed, was sentenced to three years in prison today for drunk driving, speeding, and hitting two parked cars last year. The collision left a five year old girl with a serious brain injury. Reed made his way into a downtown Kansas City courthouse with his lawyers, as did Ariel Young, the now six year old child who was in a coma for two weeks and has a long road of uncertain rehabilitation ahead. The damage was devastating, not just to the car, but to Ariel's life. She is left with physical impairments and is now in special education. Per Angie Ricono of KCTV, here is Young wearing the shirt Ariel Strong. KSHB reported prosecutors were hoping for a sentence of four years for Reed. On the flip side, his attorneys were optimistic he would get probation with the possibility of house arrest. Before sentencing, Ariel's mother, Felicia, said the five victims of the crash were offended that Reed sought probation, and they did not accept his apologies for his actions. The family opposed the plea deal. He's a prior felon. He has a prior DUI. He's been to prison, and he's asking for probation, wrote Miller. On what planet does this conduct deserve probation? Can people really get drunk and give a five-year-old a brain injury and think they get probation? At the time of the crash, ABC News reported Reed's truck was totaled and the two cars that police say he ran into, including Ariel's back seat in which she was sitting in the second row of her vehicle, was flattened and unrecognizable. The victims of this crime are outraged the defendant was not sentenced to the max sentence allowable by law. Tom Porto, the attorney representing Young's family, said in a statement, No amount of prison time will ever be enough to punish the defendant for the pain and suffering he caused this family and the ongoing difficulties that Ariel will continue to endure for the rest of her life. Britt Reed is also... An individual who does not have a clean record. Reed has had legal problems in the past. In 2007, he pleaded guilty to flashing a gun at a motorist and was sentenced to 8 to 23 months in prison. In 2008, he pleaded guilty to DUI and drug charges after crashing into a shopping cart in a parking lot. In 2007, Reed was arraigned on nine counts, including making terroristic threats, possession of a controlled substance, and a felony charge of carrying a firearm without a license. Later that day, police recovered a shotgun, ammo, and containers with white residue from the vehicle Reed had been driving, as well as a handgun from his room at the home he shared with his parents. That firearm matched the description of the weapon given to police by the other driver, authorities would say. In 2008, Reed was charged with driving under the influence of a controlled substance and drug possession stemming from a separate incident where he drove into a shopping cart in a parking lot while out on bail. He ultimately served six months on the two charges and was paroled upon acceptance into a drug treatment program, according to reports at the time. On November 11, 2020, another incident. Reed got out of his truck and berated an off-duty law enforcement officer before punching his window, according to a police report. Reed was identified by his license plate, and when a sheriff's deputy investigated at Reed's address, he found his truck parked several houses away. According to the police report, a woman who came to the door initially said Reed was out, but after the officer told her he saw Reed's truck on the street, Reed came to the door. Reed also initially lied about being involved in the incident and then gave very vague answers about his intentions before being involved in the incident after finally admitting his involvement in the incident, the officer wrote in the report, concluding that Reed had assaulted the motorist. No charges were filed, and Steve Howe, the Johnson County District Attorney, declined to say why. The off-duty officer and his lawyer declined to comment. Ariel's mother explained how her daughter's life is forever changed by that night. She drags her right foot when she walks and will soon see a doctor about leg braces. Ariel has poor balance. 
She's in special ed classes because she takes longer to process information. She also wears thick glasses that she didn't need before. Ariel didn't wake up for two weeks and had to learn how to walk, talk, and eat. She cried in her wheelchair so her mother would carry her five-year-old around like a newborn. Ariel continues to suffer from motion sickness and threw up in the car every time she drove to therapy. John Piserno, a defense lawyer in Kansas City who was not involved in the case, said the vex appeared to favor the prosecution. Reed's BAC, two hours after the crash, was well above the legal limit, and he admitted to the police that he had been drinking and had taken Adderall. I don't see why... They would get the sentence laid at four years, he said. The prosecutor had all the cards and could prove his case. Maybe it was because he was Andy Reid's son. Maybe there was a little bit of politics behind the scenes. The family rejected Britt Reid's apology.